Hello my sexy muffins and welcome back to another video. In this video we are doing a request for Osmodeus uh, from Hell of a Bus as a Yandere. Disclaimer, he is not Yandere in the show as of yet or if at all. And he is only Yandere in the biblical terms with the Jewish tale where he was basically obsessed and killing for a girl named Sarah. I will get to that in this video, just the highlight notes of it. Read it. It's very interesting that a biblical character was a Yandere. E anyways, a uh, little backstory on what Osmodius is. In Hell of a Boss, he's the Prince of Lust and is from the based off a demon from, uh, which is basically the deadly sin of lust. And he runs the r lust ring. As you can see in his design, he has three faces and the uh, biblical thing, he had three faces of a, I uh, can't remember, I know one was like a ram or something. Anyways, that is what it is and we are going to get on to this right now. There we go. Okay, sorry, I messed up a couple of times. Anyways, uh, so disclaimer, yeah, and let's do this. Okay, Osmodius, aka Big Ozzy what he would be like as a yandere the guy is the embodiment of lust but he is much more than that not only the prince of lust one of the seven deadly sin rulers of the rings of hell basically basically being legit king of lust if he'd had a different title he has a sweet spot for his partners Yes, he is the sin of lust, but when he's in a relationship with someone, he takes it very seriously and has a sweet spot for them and respects their boundaries. He would be the type to have a polyamorous relationship, not because he's a man whore, no, not at all, but because he is okay with that type of relationship. And that is totally awesome of him. He would most likely share you with Fizz if he was to share you at all, because that is his current relationship and who he is actually very affectionate to. Big Yazi is a man who definitely fricks and would know how to satisfy his partner. He also has loves to cuddle and be sweet with his partner. He is very much supportive and the type that would be supportive and I said supportive, I mean, be service his partner. And I don't mean service like as a servant, but service as build you up and make you feel like you're worth it. And basically just be supportive. And I can't think of another word for supportive. I'm sorry. Anyways, he would just do that and make sure that you got that support that you needed for anything you wanted to do. Always building you up and uh, yeah. Sorry, I can't really think of another word for supportive. I am so sorry. Anyways, very much the type of yandere that builds you up and not to break you down, but finds you the sexiest when you feel beautiful, handsome, or just plain sexy. He does not need a, a physical relationship as a yandere to be intimate with you. He, hear me out on this. He is just happy. He could be just happy as much as with a lustful relationship that he could be with a platonic relationship. As in, you are his lo the love of his life. He doesn't need to be with you intimately if you don't want that. If you want it, more power to him and more power to you. He would give you everything you need and satisfy you completely. But if you weren't into it, a being asexual, demisexual, or just someone who hates sex and doesn't want to be touched for whatever reason, he would respect that. He is very much the type that would respect you and just show you the res show you that he loves you without having to have a physical relationship. Very good of him for that too. The full-on Yandere traits that he has are very possessive and like no one else can have you. Absolutely. If you cheat on him, oh, he is mad. Especially if you had sex with someone else. He is the embodiment of lust. He is basically very offended that no, that you would find 
physical pleasure with someone other than him when he can give it to you better than anyone else could no human demon or angel can best him in that and he sees that he lacks somewhere intimately with you may be physical or not that he wasn't satisfying your emotional or your romantic or your physical needs and he beats himself up about it but he does do figure out where he did, went wrong and tries to do better very does try to do better the only way he would not be able to understand doing better is if you were just not into him like he's just not your type he doesn't understand that he's like there must there must be something I can do to fix that. He's not going to change his whole personality to become someone else for you because then it wouldn't be real. But he's not going to give up either on trying to woo you. He would very much try to woo you as well, obviously, because he is patient. Like he can wait for a while. He will never force you or force kisses or anything like that. Hand holding though and cuddling. Oh, he, he is going to do that a lot because he wants to show that he has affection for you at the very least. And if he can't do it in a physical way of intimacy, he would do it in more of the cuddling such. And he... He, of course, gives you space and breaks, which is lovely, but he needs you to know that he wants to be close to you. Uh, with Osmodius, it's a big amount of closeness and just being with intimate contact that satisfies him. So, yeah. If you don't like being touched, though, he will try to find ways around it because he's very respectful, Yandere. Like, if you want a Yandere that respects your boundaries for comfort with physical touch and such, Osmodius is the way to go. He, even if he, he might play your relationship off as lust in public, but even if it's not, if you guys are not having intimate actions, he does not sexualize you in public. Uh, even if you guys aren't, or even if you are, he doesn't sexualize you in public. He's very respectful. He never grabs onto you or has you in a possessive hold or anything like that. He just knows he's strong enough as a prince of hell to be able to defend you and to keep you safe. And he's not very paranoid because again, he's a prince of hell. No one should be no one should be wanting to harm you or even risking to harm you because he has that security that he can protect you and that no one's going to be stupid enough to protect you. I mean, not to protect you, but to attack you. And if they are, well, who, if someone were to hurt you, they'd be dead instantly, insta death, basically. And if he hears about someone trying to plan to hurt you, well, they're dead before they can even do it. And then he's making sure that you are okay. Like he takes care of the problem and makes sure you're okay. But if you come to him hurt that someone hurt you and he doesn't know who it is, he instantly is taking care of you first and then we'll get it out of you that who hurt you and then he's taking care of business. Daddy take care of business. <laughs> yes, he's very much a daddy type. He takes care of you. He supports you. He's just, he got big dad energy when it comes to that, but also very seductive energy that adores you and is the type of yandere that would worship you as like a goddess to him that you're his better half and that you're put on this pedestal even if you're a shitty person he still sees the good in you he can always see the good in his lovers and it's hell so of course some people are going to be shitty now Consent is a huge thing for him. If you tell him no or to stop, no matter what he's doing, even if he's in the middle about about to finish, he will stop and take it back and then make sure that you are okay. He'll respect the boundaries. If you want him to leave the room for a few minutes, he will do that. He's very big on consent and respect and boundaries, which is very rare for a Yandere. Sorry, I'm just going on and on about these details because I love Osmodius as a Yandere so much. And now on to the Jewish tale, which is not canon in Hell of a Boss. I want that as a disclaimer. But in the tale, he found, he 
was basically a yandere for this girl named Sarah. And anytime she were to marry, he would sit on her chest. I, I might get some things wrong, but I know there was sin on her chest at some points to keep her from leaving or being with a man. And then when the husband would come in to, to make the marriage official through intercourse, he would bite their heads off and swallow it whole. Yes, he did not give any fricks. He at least killed six of her husbands that she married and she kept becoming a widower, a widow, a widower is a male, a widow. And he was, he never forced her. He wanted her to choose to be with him. And yeah, but he was also the one that is like, I'm going to respect your boundaries, but so this is where Osmodeus and Hell of Boss is. He will respect your boundaries. He will allow you to choose to be with him, but he's going to take away all your other options. That's his biggest secondary thing that he kills anyone off. That is a possibility of you being with them. He even will possibly let you get married to someone else. And then he's like, nope, I am going to kill them before they can be with you intimately because I am the only one for you. It's basically, it's him and no one else, except for if he shares you with his. Now, how he confessed to you is very simple. He was upfront about it right away. You may have played it off as him being like, oh, he just wants me for yada yada reason. And he probably would have become your sugar daddy at some point, very much so. And make it clear what his intentions were. May you be oblivious or not. If you accept him for it, you're going to have a great life. He respects your boundaries. He teaches, treats you as your own person. He lets you have freedoms. He doesn't make you stay at home. He doesn't stalk you as much. Like, there's not a lot of downsides to Osmodeus or AKA Big Ozzy being a Yandere. Except for the fact that he takes all your other options to be with anyone else away that's his biggest yandere traits and fun fact of uh, viv the creator of hell of a boss aka and osmosius has confirmed that he can change his size uh, to various other sizes and that also counts to change in his penis size fun fact so he can be in his full huge form but have a regular size penis and he can make it as big as he wants inside you I assume that it feels good. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this. And sorry that I went on and on. There was just, you don't get a really good uh, uh, Yandere all the time. That is actually one of the best choices for you like this. So I really gushed about it because it's like hashtag couple goals. Hashtag Yandere goals. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. And if you would like to see me do another character as a Yandere, comment it below. And if you would like to see me do some future smash or pass on a different fandom, comment it below. Remember the rules. No real life people. That's a new rule. And that means VTubers too. It's their persona. So you can't do that. No OCs. Unless it's your OC and you confirm it is your OC. And um, no. Oh, sorry. I'm spacing out for a sec and basically no children shows because they're directed at children disney's and anime get away with that no people under 18 and no what is it called sorry i'm brain dead for a sec not brain dead but just brain fog uh and oh, i'm freaking a rule i'm freaking an important rule Oh, yes. Uh, keep real. I think that's it, actually. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. If I'm missing a roll, you guys know it from previous videos. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed and stay sexy, all my sexy muffins. Bye-bye.